Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next reading, your next 48 hours, what's going on, what's happening, what you can expect. And I've already pulled the cards to save time so that this uh, video doesn't run very long. Um, so let's get into it. In the middle of the spread, we have the Two of Pentacles. So there's some kind of options that you're weighing. There's some kind of choices that are being made during this next 48 hours. There's something that has a lot of emphasis on your priorities or what you're putting as a priority, right? So let's take a look. In the near past, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So there may be someone that you have a very strong attraction with when it comes to love, right? There may be someone that, you know, really gives you that pull kind of pulls on your heartstrings, makes your heart flutter, you know, that you're just all up in your head about this person, right? And we have the nine of wands. So I feel like you're standing guard. You may have your walls up, you may have set boundaries, but I feel like you're making plans. This person is patiently waiting, right? You're patiently waiting for someone to come forward. Okay, because you're not backing down. You're not giving up. You know, you find this person just as attractive as they find you. Okay, if this is a person, if this is dealing with another area, take it how it resonates. But I feel like in the situation, you're not backing down. You're patiently waiting for something. You're waiting for something to move in the right direction. Right? It could be something that you're waiting for in a career, in a job, in your lifestyle. But you're patient. You're waiting for this to happen. You're watching this as it comes through, as it comes in. You know, and you're ready to move into this calmer space to find a more peaceful place. Taking you to a higher level, a higher promotion in certain ways. Um, but I feel like you're moving. You're moving away from any conflict and chaos and you're moving towards something more positive. Okay, you're looking at, at a more positive outlook. Okay, you could be getting good counsel from someone. We have chop wood. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of thinking that you're doing. You're all up in your head about certain things. But there's a lot of growth here as well. We have the number 42 and the number 46. So they could be very significant. But I feel like, yeah, you're definitely all up in your head. You're chopping wood. You're thinking about things. You know, you're maybe working on something new. Because we have gener regeneration here. So something's growing. Something is being rejuvenated out of this situation okay it could be <clears throat> that you are becoming more spiritual you know or you could be getting good counsel good advice from someone close to you <coughs> maybe from a spiritual leader or um someone close to you who you find that's very wise but I feel like you're weighing your options, Cancer. You're thinking about your priorities. You're trying to set the priorities and figure out what is most important and how you should place those, right? You're, you're like juggling. It could be that you're very busy and you're like really juggling your time at the moment while you're waiting, okay? But I feel like there's something new in store for you. There's something new. I feel like once you set the, these priorities, you're going to be taking action. You're going to be moving. You know, there's going to be this new inspiration that's going to take your time. Right? Okay. In the near future, we have healthy lifestyle. Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthful diet. Add adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. You know, so you may be really looking into your health issues, but the angels are letting you know it's time to take notice of things that you're putting in your body, 
that aren't good for you, right? It's time to detoxify. It's time to cut out those things. Change your diet. Change the way you sleep. You know, maybe you don't sleep enough. Maybe you sleep too much. But it's time to take a look at your health. Focus on yourself. Look at this. We have the Four of Swords at the bottom. So uh, relax, rejuvenate, you know, rest up. Focus on yourself and your healing because that's what's going to bring you good health and happiness, right? And <clears throat> I feel like someone's going to help you through this. You're going to have a buddy. <laughs> You're going to have a buddy through this. Someone, someone wants to help you get more healthy. This may be a partner. This may be a friend. This may even be a co-worker, right? But someone wants to offer you their ear. Give you some kind of incentive. You know, some kind of help support to get healthier to cut these bad habits bad things out of your life right we also have the strength card so i feel like in some aspects it's going to take great strength but it's also building up your confidence in your ego so i feel like the changes that you make today are definitely going to be your advantage tomorrow right because look at this bottom row we're moving into the right direction we have this inspired action and we also have the strength right so definitely confidence is building your ego is building your self-awareness and strength you're growing right and we also have this four of swords and this ten of cups so definitely it's time to work on yourself. Take that time out with yourself. Okay? So, let's go ahead and clarify these cards for Cancer. Let's go ahead and get some clarity for these cards, please. For the Ten of excuse me, the Nine of Wands. I don't know why I said Ten of Wands. A lot of Wands in this reading, too. Hmm. For the Nine of Wands, we have the Three of Wands. Wow, we have the Three of Wands twice, right? So there's definitely something that you're waiting for. You're waiting for something to happen, but you're not giving up, okay? Maybe it is that you're not giving up on love and it hasn't arrived yet, or you're not giving up on this certain someone who you have chemistry with. Right? But you're not giving up. You're waiting for this person to come back. You're waiting to hear from them. Right? So with this, with this three of wands, we have the ace of swords. So you are going to receive some kind of communication. Um, some kind of communication is coming through. Someone's going to speak their truth to you. This is a, a breakthrough, the communication that you've been waiting for. Right? And with the Six of Swords, we have the King of Cups. So this King of Cups energy may be moving in on you, right? You could be male or female. It doesn't matter, you know? But I feel like this King of Cups energy, he's moving in on you. He he's, wants to take you to a different place, a different position. You know, you and this King of Cups maybe doing traveling they may be taking you to a new destination you know or going on a trip but this king of cups wants to be with you when you land right give me a message for the hierophant please what do we have for the hierophants the king of wands okay another king so i feel like this this King of Wands energy in the Hierophants. Hmm, you could already be attached. That's what I'm getting. Could be that you're not available for some of you. Right? This could be that you are married to this King of Wands energy. Hmm. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe it doesn't have to be. But it could be that you're already attached or this King of Wands wants to be attached, right? They want to be your 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 spiritual counsel, your higher self. Hmm. Wow. Okay, with the Two of Pentacles, we have the uh, Ten of Cups. So definitely some priorities are going to make you more happy. With the Ace of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, so double aces here. So definitely some inspired action that you are definitely going on. There's no doubt about it. You know, this is some new creative idea that maybe you haven't thought about before that's actually going to come to you in this aha moment. Or this could be you totally adapting to some kind of new experience and really taking action on something that you're adapting to, something that you're being flexible about, right? But I, I feel like you're taking action on something, right? With the Devil card, we have the Three of Cups. So I definitely feel like someone is there to support you along your journey of detoxifying, of ridding yourself from... Um, the bad habits or or codependencies that that you're currently going through with the page of wands we have the justice card so i really feel like something is definitely going in your favor you're going to hear about this or you're going to take action that is going to be the right thing to do for you right it's going to put you in balance it's going to go in your favor if this is contracts or court uh, I feel like it's definitely going to go in your favor, right? You're going to hear good news. With the strength card, we have the page of wands again. Wow. Definitely someone there to help you take action. Someone is inspiring you, Cancer. You're being inspired. Look what we have on the bottom. The two of pentacles. Setting your priorities, taking chances, weighing your options, right? Some kind of choice that's going to put you at a higher level. Definitely. Hmm. Let's take a look at the Love Oracle. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. In love, what's going on for Cancer in love, please? Okay, we ha yeah, look at this. We have addiction. Someone is codependent. Someone has some sort of obsession. Uh, someone has some kind of controlling issue. Someone is blocking themselves. They feel restrained. And this could also be an addiction to substances like alcohol, tobacco, food shopping right but there's some kind of addiction some kind of toxic energy that needs to be resolved and your angels are letting you know that it's time to work on this it's time to de detoxify right we have love call so someone is expressing their love to you someone's thinking a lot about you um someone really wants to let you know how they feel you may receive a message of love um, but someone really wants to talk to you. They really want to let you know how much they care, Cancer. So you may be talking with someone a lot. And we also have paradise. So this is happiness. This is growing. This is feeling joy, being very playful. Um, having that oneness with yourself and others, right? Enjoying each other. So there's someone that you're going to spend a lot of time with, someone that's going to make you laugh, bring you happiness, you know, and help you grow. This is beautiful. I'm really liking this. At the bottom, we have a date. So definitely you could be meeting someone new, going out on dates, exploring your options, right? So let's get an angel number. See what's going on with cancer. Get an angel number, please. 
we have 1818 optimism right successful manifestation of your abundance is near higher levels of optimism are needed as new abundant beginnings are on the horizon brighter days always come after the darkest nights so cancer your affirmation everything is in perfect order as i enter into this new chapter of my journey and connect to the abundance that is near okay beautiful okay cancer this is your next 48 hours this is what's happening um if this resonates please like and subscribe comment down below and if it doesn't resonate make sure to take a look at your other placements and um, they may be resonating with you more okay until your next reading i'm gonna go ahead and let my voice kind of uh, heal because my voice is leaving now um but yes cancer until your next reading many many blessings to you love and so much light